About seven years ago, I was working in West Africa, specifically in Ghana, when I came across a story back home from my former high school. It turns out that uh, after the examinations have been marked, primary school pupils got their selections, and there is one boy who got a selection into my former school in Kakamega, Western Kenya. There was one problem, though. This boy did not have school fees. I'm talking school fees. He did not have shoes. Talking shoes, he did not have any money to even transport him to the nearest town. He was in the rural village. Let me ask you a question. What do you think happened to the boy? Of course, I know about the story because something did happen to him. You want to listen to this. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalik. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Ladies and gentlemen, one English word has been responsible for very many lights not being shone on the face of the earth and people dimming and people giving up on their lives altogether. It's a three-lettered word. It's the word but. You want to get a good job, but you do not have the right connections. You do not have the right papers. You want to get married to her, but you do not have the money, neither do you have the courage. You want to do this, but but and so on and so forth and i know everyone born of a woman has experienced a but has experienced an even though has experienced an although very many of us in fact nearly a good percentage of us maybe i could say 100 percent of every human being has experienced a but you want to do something spectacular in your life, but there is something that you do not have to mitigate. There is something that is lacking. And every time we come at our crossroads of life, we have options either to make it, to proceed and make it, or to just suck it up, give up, and just pack, settle down. And we have these people encouraging us to settle down, my friend. Just settle down. I mean, just take up whatever has been offered to you in life and give up on that lofty goal. Give up on that lofty thing that you you so much desire. And I can tell you that as long as you have a deep, deep-seated desire inside of your heart, inside of your gut, it is of the divine. And it is absolutely instructive that you should go ahead and explore it to the very dregs of details, to the logical conclusion of the matter. But the thing is this, this man, this boy... I could be maybe it could be 13 years of age or 14 years of age by the time that this is happening this is someone who has gone through primary school for eight good years and now his biggest ambition in life is to proceed with high school education secondary school education and probably to see the logical conclusion of his career pursuits. He is someone who has been gifted. He has an academic mind and he has passed his examinations. And let me tell you, there are multitudes of those around the earth. But also at the same token, there is a but. And for the most part, this but is lack of school fees. 
lack of the wherewithal to push you through. I was in high school myself and I barely scratched it to get there because my story is totally different. Although my mama was working and so on and so forth, she was able to pull resources together and I got I barely got into high school and I barely maintained, barely made it. She barely scrapped by to keep me there. But while I was in high school, I saw very many of my boys, very many of my friends, some of them even dropped out. I remember there's a guy who dropped out of high school because he did not have school fees. There is a but. And so in life we face very many situations that will encumber us, that will tether us, that will tie us down from proceeding to realizing what our dreams and our purposes in life are. What do we do in such situations? You know, we've been talking about making decisions in the past several episodes. Maybe there are even 10, more than 10 episodes. We've been talking about decision making and we've said that it is in the moment of your decision making that your destiny is shaped. And over the past two episodes, we've been speaking on the subject of what decisions should you be making if you were to make a decision in your life. What are the three major decisions that you should be making in your life? And we've already said that you better make a decision for purpose. That one just goes without saying. This is a podcast that discusses about discovering your purpose so if you've got to make a decision of course i'm going to encourage you to make a decision on purpose make a decision that is going to gravitate you towards what your purpose is you see purpose is not going to be plucked from off the shelf it is not bespoke it is not customized it is something that you dig up it's just like you've got to dig up coal and gold and precious metals and oil the same thing with purpose you've got to excavate that thing and you've got to expend a lot of resource energy and this is basically your gut this is basically your passion this is basically your determination and your resilience so if you're going to make any decision in life it had better be a decision for purpose. And then yesterday in the podcast, we discussed that if you're going to make a decision in life, it had better be a decision to be a man and a woman of excellence. But I'm discovering that at times in life, you come to a crossroads. (laughs) I mean, life is not necessarily that straightforward. You come to a crossroads where the very thing that you badly wanted, you really, really wanted something. You are a mother. Of course, you've been created to be a mother and you so wish to be a mother and you really do want to be a mother and I really do have no idea where I'm going with this. It's just come to me, but let's see how it goes. But you've been made, you've been created to be a mom and you are married and you desperately want children and you don't. I mean, you've tried everything. Today, uh, I'm telling you, uh, let me tell you something. People go through stuff Very many people go through stuff. You might be walking in the streets and you see those street urchins, those street kids, those street families by their tents. But there is someone who is not in the streets, fully married, loving husband, but they have tried and they have no baby. And it's so easy for us to take some things for granted. I'm just going to get married, I'm going to get five kids, I'm going to get four kids, I'm going to get three kids and so on. And it happens for us and it's just automatic. And you've been a mother, you wanted to be a mother and now you are in this situation that it is not happening. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? You've been in this situation where you've been admitted. This boy was admitted to Kakamega High School one of the most prestigious schools in Western Kenya, and he did not have shoes. I'm talking shoes. You're talking school fees? He didn't have shoes. He did not have shoes. He did not have shoes. And he's, he has a letter. He has an admission letter. It's come from the post office, from his primary school. You have been called to Kakamega High School. You're supposed to report on 29th of January. That is your moment. Come. You should come with your box. You should come with a hockey stick. You should come with sets of uniform. You should come with, I don't know how many books. You should come with how many thousands of shillings of Kenya shillings for your admission fee. You have been admitted. Come. And he has that opportunity. It's in his hands. 
but he doesn't even have shoes i mean even his family they are destitute they don't even care about school they are caring about the next meal where is the next meal going to come from i mean where are you, how are we going to make it through the week you talking about studying for four years how are we gonna make how are we gonna put food on the table today at lunchtime forget about lunchtime we don't even have lunch anyway we're talking about supper, maybe one meal a day. How are we going to make it? How are we going to put that meal on the table today? And we are X number of people in the family. The roof is leaking. Uh, we, are, we are in dire straits here. Don't even start thinking about your admission to Kakamega High School. Forget about it. And so a man or a boy is at the crossroads of his life. He's got to make a decision. <laughs> Ah, I forget his name. But this is story this story is absolutely true. So this boy <laughs> Lord have mercy on us. This boy he arms himself with the only thing. Oh, the only ticket to his next level in life was that letter, that admission letter. He arms himself with it. No bag to pack clothes. What clothes are you talking about? He didn't have clothes to put on. No shoes on his feet. He had sandals. And uh, maybe th these sandals that people normally use to go for bathrooms. To, to, to the bathroom. That's what he had in his feet. And so he decides to make a journey more than 100 kilometers away from his home. Armed with his letter <laughs> of admission. To Kakamega High School. This world has trouble. This world has heartache. This world has things. But all of us, as we have an opportunity to make a decision. He made a decision. And if you are to make a decision in life, number three, you've got to make a decision to be a finisher. I know I'm being dramatic here, but you've got to make a decision to be a finisher. This man decided, I have this letter to my next level. And I know I'm facing insurmountable odds. But I'm going to do whatever is in my power to get there. And I'm going to finish this. I am not going to quit on this. I am going to finish this one. So he started walking. I don't know how he got into Kisumu town. Some 20 kilometers or so from his home. He got there. And from Kisumu town to Kakamega town. Before he can get to Kakamega high school is about... 20, 30, 40 kilometers, I don't know, maybe 50 kilometers. He's got to walk the whole distance, and he did walk the whole distance. <laughs> In the evening, some evening, some Sunday evening, the security guards at Kakamega High School at the gate, they see a figure approaching, emaciated, tired. Oh, and he narrates to them his story. And he shows them <laughs> his admission letter. And this cool headmaster, the principal, is uh, woken, woken up from his sleep at night. There is someone who wants to see you. <laughs> and he, he moved. That story is posted on the local dailies. And the old boys, the alumni of the school, they get together. And they pay for, they pay for all, they pay for all his four years in school. He made a decision to be a finisher. And the rest is history. This world has heartache. This world has trouble. And sometimes we can easily give up on our lives when it's just about just about the breakthrough like the story I, I read today there's a man who gave up it's a true story who gave up his gold mine three inches before he knocked it and the person he sold it for a hundred dollars <laughs> one hundred dollars and the person that came in made consultation and that's why i was asking you some episodes back that one of the things that you've got to do if you're to make a decision is to make sure that you're consulting. So this man called a geologist, the one who had bought this gold mine for $100, he, 
he called a geologist and the geologist say that sometimes the vein of the gold can get lost especially when there's this seismic seismic shifts when there's an earthquake and the, the earth shifts you can be able to lose the vein of the gold and it might be five inches or five whatever it is just just off and this man gave up on it and so they dug five or three whatever inches and they struck the gold and sometimes in life we can give up on finishing so i'm asking you today if you are to go and make a decision i've been talking about decision making if you're going to make a decision in life decision number one decide for purpose but decision number two decide for excellence however decision number three decide to be a person who is a finisher I know I've covered that in some podcasts before, some episodes before, that you've got to be someone who is a finisher. We are living in a world where it's so easy to jump off from one thing and go on to another. Start this and leave it and go on to another. We are distracted every waking day. But in life, I challenge you to be someone who is loyal to the cause i don't know what cause it is that you've been called to and i don't know what it is that you are doing at the moment in your life but i challenge you to be someone who will pay the price to finish this world is desperate for finishers this world is desperate for men and women of loyalty this world is desperate for men and women of commitment and determination and resilience men and women who put their hands on the plow and not look back go the long haul until it is done until it is dusted until it is finished and i know i have been one of them i've been one of the people who are great starters i can start this and i cannot begin to tell you how many manuscripts are gathering dust in my recycle bins in the computer there are more than seven manuscripts if I look at my blog and even if I look at my podcast today, there is even this thing I'm just doing, these episodes that we're going through. This is a book. This is a seminar that can be curated and can be created. And there are very many things that I can start and I don't finish. If I can make a decision to be a finisher, this world will see glory. This world will see a revolution. If you really are to be committed to the very meaning of this word you will most definitely finish what you started so let us be men and women who are making decisions to be committed to be finished as many people start things not worth finishing and they finish (laughs) and then some of us will start things worth finishing and we don't (laughs) we've got to strike a balance ladies and gentlemen we've got to strike a balance between these things see over the years many people have been bashed you know for starting and not finishing but today i will not be the one to join that bandwagon of bashing people i think people who can get something started must be praised They must be congratulated for a good job done. This boy, he started it. (laughs) He did start it and he didn't have the wherewithal. He didn't have everything in place to be able to finish. And that's one of the biggest problems as to why people do not start. See, some of us, we do not start because we, we look at the mile ahead, the mile to run ahead, and we look at the strength we have. We don't have it and we, we, we say, let me not even start it. Okay, but there is this commitment, this decision. You see, it is better for you to decide to start. And starting, the only way you're going to finish is through starting. So starting is important. If you're not going to start, then you are a candidate of never finishing. So if you're going to start, you already have done something major. Very many people do not start. So I need you to look at your life at the moment right now and look at the things that even are gathering dust, things that you already started. And I need to congratulate, for, to congratulate you for that, for starting it. 
how many people out there in this world we have that have not started something but you thank god you started it and i know that you started it and you went one week two weeks one year and then you hit a snag and maybe the motivation tapered off and the inspiration was no longer there and now you're faced with the prospect of not finishing i need you to make a decision and go back to your recycle bin and look at those things you see the answers to your life could be in your recycle bin you are looking for cryptocurrency you're looking for forex trade <laughs> trading you're looking for your rich uncle to give you some money you're waiting for someone to die so that you can get an inheritance you're waiting for miracle money you're waiting to do sports baiting so that you can strike it rich you can strike it gold the answers to your life could be the things that are unfinished in your recycle bin in your laptop in your head in your scrapbook go back to those things the answers to this world could be in those things their seminars and their podcasts and their books and their articles and their projects and their businesses that are yet to be finished which are actually solutions and answers that this world is awaiting for and you are sitting on them and i need you a challenge and i'm challenging myself and add that book and add that manual and add that project and add that business that idea dust it up get started once again continue with what you started and be a finisher make a decision today draw a line in the sand and say i'm gonna be a finisher i'm gonna be one of those people who raise their hands up at the finish line and celebrate for finishing what you started because this race is not for the swift nor for the, the the strong it is for those all of us who have our own races you are running your own race at the finish line you've got to be the one to lift up your hands and celebrate you've got to be at the finish line and i'm cheering you and i'm starring you up to get started i'm starring you up to look back at your recycle bin and add those things that need to be an art and go for it once again until it is uncovered until it is dusted off and give yourself momentum give yourself consistency once again get started and keep moving probably you have more experience and more determination you have no clue who is going to be helping you maybe someone will be woken up at midnight for your case for your course because they have seen that you have this passion and this determination and you've done your part all right and stop don't stop knocking on people's doors so that your project and your idea something that has been pending can be finished be a finisher make a decision to be one of those who will be finishers in the coming days in the coming years even if it's a new year make a decision to be a finisher finish something what are you going to finish and uh, maybe it's not just be this big huge project but even on a daily basis there are some things that you can finish right on the top of a page a blank page what can i finish today and enumerate those things and make sure that you've swept every destruction away so that you can finish what you said you are going to finish and what you started and be a finisher make a decision to be a finisher apathy normally comes up in life when people don't finish things you start this and you don't finish and it it starts biting you feel bad about it and you feel demotivated about it you bash yourself and your psyche is dead because of not finishing but be someone who persevere even after the motivation is gone even after the inspiration is gone just do it maybe you're doing podcasting and you are looking at your statistics and people are not even listening to you i'm telling you finish the article today finish the episode today finish that book today finish whatever you can be able to finish today be a finisher make a decision to be a finisher in the face of the earth be counted as those guys who will be finishers you have no clue who is cheering you on in the invisible realm you are being counted on your decision to finish will be one of the most important decisions you can ever make i can tell you that although very many goals have been achieved starters have learned quite a lot even having not finished what they started and now it is on to finishing <laughs> It requires you to be committed. Decide to do 
the very few major things that you can finish. One of the ways in which you can be a finisher is to take on small things. I know these motivational speakers will tell you something to this effect. Buy it off more than you can chew and chew it slowly. That is motivational, okay? And sometimes it is inspirational that we should risk and we should dare mighty things. We should win glorious triumphs even though checkered by failure. Then take rank of those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in the great twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. That is Roosevelt who said that it has its place. But I'm telling you, if you want to be a finisher, You've got to be strategic and you've got to be focused. Someone was telling us the other day that the reason as to why the knife cuts is because the sharper edge is focused. It is it is made so particular. Yeah, so particular so that it can cut. But without that, if it's blunt, bluntness is as, as a result of a, an edge that is just not sharpened and it's full of particles so to speak so if you take on very many responsibilities you want to do this you want to do that you want to do this you want to do that chances are that you will not become a finisher but make a decision and commit to finishing be accountable draw a line in the sand and tell people i am going to finish and let them ask you okay so how is it coming along until you finish what you started do Decide to do very few major things, but make sure that they are finished before you can move on to something else. You will be a very happy person. If you want to see people with smiles on their faces, if you want to see people with some bit of control in their lives, some gate of achievement and productivity, it's those people who are finishers. They're finishing things. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have belabored quite a bit when it comes to this topic of decision making and choices and I believe that today is going to be the very last day that you hear me okay maybe in this series talking about choices and decision making three major choices that you've got to make in your life life is simple life is straightforward decision number 1 I urge you to make a decision for purpose Decision number two, I urge you to join a small elite of three percenters in the world who choose to be excellent and be among them. Decision number three, I urge you to make a decision to be known as someone who is a finisher. You start with finishing and you finish it all together. I hope this helps you. I hope you're going to have some information to ruminate on when it comes to your decision making in the new year and beyond for now thank you so much for accompanying me please make some point to add your comments on this podcast and uh, share it in your social media circles if it's blessed you for me bye bye until tomorrow a special shout out to my mentor jeffrey howard of visionary business university found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.